Welcome to AmeenAcademy.com. In physics, let us discuss about conductors and insulators. Some substances readily allow passages of electricity through them. Others are not. Those which allow electricity to pass through them easily are called conductors. That is, conductors of electricity. They have electric charges, electrons that are comparatively free to move inside the material. Metals, human and animal bodies and earth are good conductors. Mostly all metals are good conductors. Most of the non-metals like glass, porcelain, plastic, nylon, wood offer high resistance to the passage of electricity through them. They are called insulators. Most substances fall into one of two classes of stated above. That means most of the material is one's conductors or insulators of electricity. When some charge is transferred to a conductor, it readily gets disturbed, distributed over the entire surface of the conductor. In contrast, in, if some charge is put on an insulator, it stays at the same place. It is very difficult to move from one point to another point. You will learn why this happens in this proceeding videos. We can understand about it clearly. This property of the materials tells you why a nylon or a plastic comb gets electrified on combing dry hair or an rubbing, but a metal articles like spoon does not. The charges on metal leak through our body to the ground as both are conductors of electricity. However, if a metal rod with a wooden or plastic handle is rubbed without touching its metal parts, it shows signs of charging. Now we will discuss further about the conductors. In simple terms, an electrical conductor is defined as a material that allows electricity to flow through them easily. This property of conductors that allow them to conduct electricity is known as conductivity. The flow of electrons in a conductor is known as the electric current. The force required to make that current flow through the conductor is known as voltage. We need certain voltage to conduct electricity through the conductor. When a charge is transferred to such an ele elements, it gets dis distributed across the entire surface of the object, which results in the movement of electrons in the object. The charges transferred to an electrical conductor distribute until a force of repulsion between electron in areas of excess electron is decreased to the minimum value. When such an object is brought in contact with another conductor, the charge gets transferred from the first conductor to the other until the overall repulsion due to charge is minimized. Metals, humans and earth are very good conductors. This is the reason why we get electric shock because our body is good conductor of electricity. Some examples we see for a conductor, graphite, a human body and the earth are good conductors of electricity. Some of the common conductors examples include such as copper, gold, iron, silver, aluminium, like these are the good conductors of electricity. And for insulators, insulators are materials that hinder the free flow of electrons from one place to of the element to another because it gives some resistive force to move the electric charge from one point to another is called an insulator. If we transfer some amount of charge to such an element at any point, the charge remains at the initial location and does not get distributed across the surface because it's not conduct the charges. The most common process of charging of an element is charging 
by rubbing for some elements with the help of suitable materials. Examples of insulators. Some of the common insulators examples are given below plastic, wood, glass, like backlight, like this wood or the wood insulators to the electricity. Difference between conductors and insulators. Some key conductor and insulators have some differences are given in the table form. Conductor, material that permits electricity or heat to pass through it. That is a conductor. Materials that permits electricity is called electricity, conduct, electricity conductor or heat to pass through it. Insulator, material that do not permit heat and electricity to pass through it. Conductor, a few examples of a conductor are silver, aluminium and iron. A few examples of an insulator are paper, wood and rubber. So for conductor, electrons move freely within the conductor because they are having more free electrons in outermost orbit of the uh, atoms that includes the conductor. Electrons do not move freely within the insulator because there is no free electron in the outermost orbit of that atoms that is insulator contains. The elect conductor, the electric field exists on the surface but remains zero on the inside. Electric field exists on the surface of the conductor but remains zero but on the inside of the conductor. It's not disturbed. Inside is not disturbed. Insulator, the electric field does not exist in insulators. So far we have done about uh, what is uh, what is conductor, what is insulators, some examples of conductor and insulators, some difference between conductors and insulators. We have done. Please subscribe our YouTube channel.